Any project which promises to bring down the cost of AI is very near and dear to my heart. This project, Sparse Transformers, promises to do exactly that. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, not only I am going to explain this new Sparse Transformer project in as simple words as possible, but also I am going to show you a hands-on demo. What this project does is create a faster version of models by implementing sparse transformer that skips unnecessary computations during inference. Instead of processing every weight in the feed forward layer, regardless of whether they contribute to the final output or not, the system uses smart predictors to identify which neurons will produce zero or negligible results for each token, then completely bypasses loading and computing those sleeping weights. This really benefits users by delivering 1.6 to 1.8 times faster inference speeds with 26% less memory usage while maintaining identical output quality, making LLMs more accessible for real-time applications and resource-constrained environments. If you have been following my channel, you might have noticed that I have done various videos on 1-bit LLMs and we have also checked out BitNet, we have run quantized versions in hundreds of videos. So just imagine that you have a huge deep seek model maybe or any huge 600, 500 billion parameter model and you want to run it on commodity hardware, maybe on your GPU or why not in the future on CPU. So projects like these really give you a hope that one day we will be able to do exactly that. If you have used llama.cpp for example to run your models locally on CPU, you see that it works but it is very slow. That is where it is trying to speed up this whole thing. Unlike original transformers that blindly compute all feed forward network weights, this sparse implementation dynamically adapts to each tokens context using learned sparsity masks that typically achieve 20 to 30 percent sparsity on models like Llama 3.2. The key innovation lies in custom C++ kernels with differential weights caching that only loads changed weights between tokens combined with fused operations that eliminate redundant memory transfer fundamentally changing how the hardware processes transformer computations at the kernel level rather than just algorithmic optimization. So now let's let me show you a quick demo. I'm just going to install some of the code and benchmarking script which they have provisioned and show you how exactly this works. But beware this is a very very new project and they are still implementing it, evolving it and primarily you really don't need to install it this way once this is all good just like transformers we can either install it from source or we should be able to install it with pip when the time comes so instead of transformer we might be using the sparse transformers for the purpose of this i'm going to use this ubuntu system i have one gpu card in vtrtxa 6000 with 48 gpu of vram but i'm going to show you the benchmarking on cpu uh, and let me quickly show you my CPU too. So this is my CPU, as you can see here. It is quite good, um, but you can even run it on commodity CPU, but make sure that you have 16 GB to 30 GB of RAM. Okay, so that's said and done. Let me quickly create a virtual environment with Konda. And if you're also looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to masked compute in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50 percent for a range of gpus so please do check them out as it helps a lot okay so let's go back here let's wait for this code environment and now let's git clone the repo of this sparse transformers and i will also drop the link to their website in video's description let me install some of the prerequisites because we would need to install the C++ compiler CMake to build the project and then we are also uh, installing the Hugging Face Hub to download the Llama model. Okay, so this is installed. Now let's uh, build this project 
in the editable format from the root of the repo and this is going to take long time so we just need to be patient and while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are matrix matrix lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulations as a b tests for your marketing captions that allows marketers to test different angles and strategies and you will find the link to the website in videos description okay so it took around 10 minutes but everything is installed before i now show you the benchmarking information let me quickly show you the code in vs code so this is a benchmarking code which they have shared and you really don't have to worry, worry too much about this code but this is just for the learning purposes if you're interested so this automatically downloads the llama 3.23 billion parameter model and you would also need to log into hugging face because that's a gated model and then you need to run comprehend and then it is going to run comprehensive performance test comparing the sparse version against the standard model using five different prompts of varying complexity it measures critical matrices like time to first token generation speed total throughput and memory usage across multiple runs and then calculates statistical aggregates and speed up ratios to validate the claimed performance improvements providing uh, us with concrete evidence of the sparse transformers efficiency gains in real world inference scenarios as you can see here it's a huge code there's a lot of stuff there and takes long time to run so i will just kick it off and then show you a glimpse of it as how it works if you're interested to run it just feel free to run it on your local system it's all local okay so but as i said earlier you would really need to log into the hugging face before you run this so for that i'm just running this hugging face cli command i need to uh, give it my read token and my login is successful and now i can go ahead and run this code and this is a benchmarking code where i'm specifying my cpu device then there is also the json file where we can provide our model if you want to change the model and then i'm just going to go with one run just as a demo otherwise by default they go with 51 just to benchmark properly and it takes long time and after a while the script is going to give you um this sort of output where you can see all it is doing it is um, testing both the sparse skip llama model and standard model on sort of five different prompts that measures um, how the model really you know tested and how fast each model generates as in terms of key results around performance consistency and then it is also testing out uh, you know the projects claim that sparse uh, transformer has also consistently outperformed the standard model and then it is skipping some of it and there you go so some of the stats are there this is a performance comparison i was talking about so the key result here demonstrates that skip llama is significantly faster it takes around 1.51 less time to generate the first token and produces tokens 1.79 times faster during generation and achieves 1.78 times better overall throughput hopefully all of this is um, really you know would also be applicable when it really comes into the production so that we could run these huge models easily in a bit faster way on our cpu or commodity gpus that's it let me know what you think please like the video and share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps thank you very much